everybody, in today's video I'm tackling a project that was almost too big and complicated for me. But with a little creativity and the help of FreeCAD of course and another software Inkscape I managed to get it done. Just as all the other programs that I'm using Inkscape is also an open source software. If I had to summarize what the main challenges of this project were I would say there were three main ones. The first one was getting a consistent width but keeping the shape of the font. The font that I received was a handwriting one with variable width of the lines. The second challenge was milling an acrylic piece way larger than my CNC. The third challenge which is connected to the second one was holding the piece of acrylic flat to the table because with such a large piece of acrylic it was pretty heavy and the overhang outside the table would bend the piece on the table. I can't wait to show you how I overcome all those problems, but first let me thank you for all the views, all the likes, all the shares, all the comments. They are very helpful to me, so let me know if you like the videos and of course subscribe, like them. If you want to give me a financial help, you can anytime subscribe to my Patreon account there. You will find Besides a little help for me, of course, you will find all the files that I'm creating in my videos. You can download them, study them. And if you are not ready to subscribe yet, you can find two products, one small thanks and one big thanks if you want to support me with just a one time small amount. And now let's move on to create the acrylic sign and then to mill it on the CNC. So I am in Inkscape 1.3.2, the latest official version available for now. The first thing that I need to do is go to file, import the file that I have received. It's a Corel Draw file, but Inkscape has no problem importing it. Here is the text that I have to mill on the CNC to fit the lead strip. The first thing that I notice is that the thickness of the lines composing the letters is not constant, so I have to solve this. But prior to do that, I can see here it has a 2.3 meters width, I need a width of 2.1 meters so I will press the lock button to make a proportional scaling and in the width field I will write 2100 millimeters press enter now it is scaled to the correct dimension so let's start redrawing the letters in order to achieve a constant thickness if I would try to move the points around to get the thickness it would take me a whole lot longer than the way I'm going to show you so let's start drawing I use the bezier tool the shortcut is B I make sure the mode is in in regular bezier path click here to start the path click where you want to add nodes and I will add nodes at each curve right click to end the path now zoom in a little and press N or this button to enter the node tool and holding ctrl down click on the nodes and you can see that they are smooth now the lines are smooth I just have to drag them a little bit around drag the handles and my line is exactly as I want it follows the center of the T line. I will do the same for all the other lines that compose the letters. So press B again to enter the Bezier tool. Start the line. Click here to end it. Right click. I will create segments just as in handwriting where I would lift the pen up. I end the segment. Press N to enter the note tool and drag the line to be relatively centered. After making all the letters I will make one more pass with minor adjustments. So press Bezier again and let's make this line too. Click here, end it, press node to drag it and bend it in the center of the line. If I cannot do that by simply dragging, I can anytime click on any of the nodes and I will have the handles available. Now press B again and let's draw this oddly shaped letter, the R, and I will draw it as I told you using straight segments and then right click to and enter the node tool by pressing N, hold control down and click on each of the endpoints to make them smooth. The shape is almost as I want to. It's very easy to use this tool. Just drag them a little bit around. And after showing you this letter, I will just write the straight segments for all the letters. Here for the curve of the S. I will create several endpoints and now press N for the node tool and take them one by one and transform the endpoints into smooth corners. Try to keep the line as much as possible in the center of the lines. This will help you achieve the final shape of the letters very similar to the ones original even though the thickness of the line is not perfectly equal.
And now that I have the lines roughly created, they are curved almost as they should. Let's use the selector tool, select all the paths that we have created, go to path menu and select combine. Now they are all just one path and the trick to get the correct thickness, go to fill and stroke, stroke style and select a width of 10.3 millimeters is the width that I want. Now I just have to make some minor adjustments again using the node tool. Make sure where the letters are overlapping you don't have small bumps. And you can see that the letters that I have just created are very similar to the ones in the original font. Of course they are not identical, they cannot be identical, but you have to get the idea, the shape of the letters and everything will be okay in the end. And I now will repeat the same process for all the letters that I have in the text. And I think it looks close enough to the sign that I initially wanted. I still have to fix the comma and the dots. As you can see, I have created the dots as straight segments because there has to be a module of LED strip which is two and a half centimeters long. So I will make these lines three centimeters long. Let's move them a little bit closer. And now take each of them, give them a width of 30 millimeters. And as you can see, even though I have turned off proportional scaling they still get a little bit thinner and I will fix that by going back to the stroke and modifying the width to 10.3 millimeters let's do the same for the comma and now they have the correct thickness they are a little bit longer you can see it added three millimeters because of the end caps the round end caps but it's okay I don't have a problem with that it will be a module of LED inside this and the covering silicone will diffuse the light correctly so now that I have the correct thickness for the entire length of the text I still need to do a couple of things let me just select everything and go to path and use combine. By combining all the paths together I make sure that when importing into FreeCAD I won't run into any problems but I still have to do a little trick to be able to import it into FreeCAD and to get this correct thickness. As you can see the path is just a simple line in the center of the dark line that you see on the screen but I want the path to be lines outside this line. How can I do that? Well zoom out, go to the selector, select the text and go to path, stroke to path. If I now enter into node mode, you can see that all the outlines of the lines that we have used have turned into blue lines into path. So now I can go back to the selector, select the text and go to the export. If I don't find it here, I can always go to file export, select the location and the file name. Let's call it trust me correct text export it as an SVG and check export selected only click on the export button I will replace the document because there is already one and now we can move to FreeCAD I will leave Inkscape open because we will use it a little bit later again for a small trick so back to FreeCAD in 0.22 I'm in the part design workbench and I will first create click that I'm going to mill so I will create a new body create a new sketch on the XY plane make a rectangle from the origin give it dimensions 2100 millimeters by 500 millimeters close the sketch and then pad the sketch 10 millimeters the thickness of the acrylic piece and now let's do the magic let's place the text on this piece of acrylic and make the pockets go to file import select the file select SVG as geometry and you can see it looks kind of messed up but we are going to fix that in just a couple of seconds go to the draft workbench Select all the objects that have been imported, select the first one, hold shift, click on the last one and use this function draft to sketch. And after the sketch is created, it might take some time, delete all the paths, we don't need them anymore. Grab the sketch and move it into the body, into the tree of the body and now let's map it to this face. Go to map mode, click on the three dots, make sure selecting is pressed, is blue click on the face and now it is mapped there and the text is now attached 
to this face but it's a little bit offset so we have to go to the sketch go to attachment offset not placement go to attachment offset go to position and let's change the y to 400 and also the x move it a little bit to the right now it is correctly placed let's set a top view to make sure it is correctly placed on the piece of acrylic on the stock we don't need to change the z value because being attached to this face it will automatically get the, the height of that face now press gr to remove this annoying grid while still in the draft workbench otherwise it won't work and let's go back to the part design workbench select the sketch press on the pocket button and let's set the length the depth of the pocket it's called length it's five millimeters by default and this is the depth that i want in order for the led strip and the cover to fit correctly so i will click ok and now you can see the pocket the groove for the led strip is correctly made over the entire piece of acrylic i still need to do something as you have seen in the photos that i've shown you at the start of this video it has a cutout around the text i want to do this but creating the sketch and drawing the lines with the bezier tool works very very slow in FreeCAD so I will go back to Inkscape, draw the outline, drag the lines around, move them until I'm satisfied then import that shape too so let's go to Inkscape here is my text, let's press B or select the pen tool from the menu and we will use the same method just as when creating the text first straight segments then we will smooth the corners and the shape should be almost perfect so press n for the node tool with the node tool selected i want to make all these nodes smooth but holding ctrl and clicking them just as we did for the letters would be too much time consuming so hold the mouse over one of the nodes press shift scroll up until all the nodes are selected and go here make selected nodes auto smooth we still have some adjustments to make here but overall it is kind of what i want you can probably see that it is not exactly the shape that I have milled on the machine because I have already created that shape and now I'm just recreating it for the video. And I think the shape looks pretty okay, so select the outline, go to export, check the export selected only and make sure with the selection tool that only this shape is selected, I don't want to export the text again. Make sure you have SVG as export format. Let's set the file location, text outline. And now I can go back to FreeCAD, go to file, import. I will simply repeat what I did with the text. Import the SVG as geometry, click on open and I have the correct shape here. But I still need to turn it into a sketch. So go to the draft workbench, select the path, click on the draft to sketch button. I can now delete the path, select the sketch, move it to the body to sit in the tree of the body. And now I want to place it on, on this face, but I won't use the same method. I will use a different method. I select the sketch, go to place position raise the z to 10 millimeters to the thickness of the board and now that it is at the correct height let's change the x and the y set a top view to make sure everything fits properly i can see here that is just barely at the limit and i want to move it a little bit to the right so change the x just a little bit make sure nothing is out of place like this little part i will simply modify the y a little bit make sure everything fits correctly and i want to cut the outside of this shape in order to do that i need to edit the sketch so double click on it and create a large rectangle outside doesn't matter how big just to make sure it's outside of the piece of acrylic of the initial piece of acrylic and now go back to part design workbench and with this shape i will create a pocket and I will set the type from dimension to through all. I want to cut the entire piece of acrylic. Click on OK. And now the shape is exactly as I want it to. Pretty similar to what I have actually milled on the CNC. But as I've told you, there are some differences because I recreated the process in order to make this video after making the actual milling. There are two more little things that I need to do in order to move on to the CAM workbench to the generation of the G code files for milling this on the CNC, which will be a little complicated because the piece of acrylic is much longer than the table of my CNC so we will have to make several placements cut the first part move the piece of acrylic make sure it aligns properly mill the second part then move it again for the third and final part but now let's make the holes that we need we need holes at each end of each word we need to make some holes 
in order to hold the acrylic piece to a piece of wood it's the way it is going to be installed where it's going to be used select the face again doesn't matter which face just one of the top faces create a new sketch and let's create circles wherever i need holes for the cables so at the start and the beginning of each word As you can see I don't care about the dimensions of the circles, I just place them somewhere around there, we will fix that a little bit later. And after creating all the holes for the cables that are needed, I will right click, select all the elements, go to constraints and I will set a constraint auto radius slash diameter. I will use a diameter of 4 millimeters. that's what's required for the small cables to pass through the piece of acrylic. Click on OK, it will automatically set equal constraints and the diameter for all the holes. I still need to tweak them a little, just move them around. I can see here a little problem in the T, but I will leave it like this and if I will have some issues with it when finally reaching the cam part and if the path isn't generated correctly, I will enter the sketch and modify it, otherwise I don't need to modify it. The sketch editing works very slow because it's a complex shape, so I prefer to avoid it if possible, but if not I will go and edit that piece too. And now that all the holes for the cables are placed correctly, close the sketch and use a pocket. Again I will select through all because I want the holes to be all the way through the acrylic. Change type through all, click on OK. And now let's make sure all the holes are there. Maybe I should fix this problem right now, I don't think it's okay to leave it like this. Probably some overlapping lines, so I will go to the pocket that defines the shape of the letters. Even though it will move very slow when editing, I prefer to solve it right now. So here is the problem, Inkscape generated some weird overlapping lines. I will just zoom out a little to make sure nothing is damaged. Move this point, after each release of the mouse, it takes some while for FreeCAD to calculate. That's why I haven't edited the outline in FreeCAD and moved back to Inkscape and then imported it because it's much faster. But for small adjustments like this, it's easier to work here even though it takes some time. Ideally, I would have edited this, I would have checked and edited this in Inkscape. So delete this segment, delete also this small segment. And I can see here two white dots, they are not red as usual, I believe it's a feature in FreeCAD 0.22 when some nodes are not connected, they are turned white so you can easily see them, I think it's a good thing. Select both nodes, press on C for coincident constraint, and now they are overlapping, they have turned red. Zoom out a little to make sure nothing is too messed up. I have a sharp corner here, but I don't think it will be a problem. Click on close to close the sketch and now everything seems okay in my letters. So make the final adjustments, the holes for fitting the piece of acrylic to wood. Again, just like when making the holes for the cables, I will select this face, create a new sketch and randomly place four circles. I want to have four connection points and one here. Now zoom out a little, right click to unselect the tool, select all the circles, go to auto radius diameter and for these holes I will use a diameter of 10 millimeters because that's the diameter of the screws that are going to be used. Of course it still has some degrees of freedom because the position of the circles is not set as a constraint but I don't care about that, they just need to be visually correctly placed. So with this sketch make a new pocket of course through all and we will have the piece of acrylic ready for moving on to the milling part, the generation of the g-code for milling on the CNC. So this was the part about modeling this text, this variable with text to turn it into a text that looks almost the same as the initial text but with a constant width so we can use it in an LED project, a piece of acrylic that will be lit using LED and all these channels are going to be covered with a silicone tube so they need to be exactly the same with along the entire words. Thank you for watching and let's move on to the second part.
to generate the G code for milling on the CNC, which as I've told you is going to be a little bit more complicated because we need to move the piece of acrylic three times as my CNC is pretty small and this length, the 2.1 meter long piece of acrylic won't fit in just one cut. Don't forget to subscribe and of course if you want to support me visit my Patreon page, there you can subscribe and you will also get access to all the files that I am making in my videos and if you're not ready to subscribe yet you can find in the shop two products, one thanks and one big thanks, it's a little help that you can simply buy one time if you want to help me. Thank you and see you for the next part.